Have you ever seen an ambulance stuck in traffic? And you might say to yourself that you hope that they get to the poor person in time. And all the time. Seconds count in all emergencies, of course. But if the victim's having a stroke, response time is especially critical. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here, is, here with us now to tell us about a special ambulance specifically for those cases. That's right. It's called the Mobile Stroke Treatment Unit. It's a million-dollar ambulance that brings everything needed to diagnose a stroke and start clot-busting drugs as quickly as possible. Because there's a saying in neurology that lost time is lost brain. Richard Mandero is recreating for us the events that likely saved his life a little over five months ago. The 49-year-old attorney had gone to the gym that morning and then taken the train into the city. When he went to his usual coffee cart, his right hand got cold and then things got much worse. By the time I got up to my office and started speaking to my secretary, I wasn't able to talk. His secretary called 911, but this is what often happens to ambulances in New York. And when it's a stroke, traffic delays can be disastrous. Every minute that we delay stroke care in somebody who's having a stroke costs that person two million brain cells. The faster you treat the patient, the better that they're going to do in terms of outcomes. That's where the mobile stroke treatment unit comes in. It's much more than a standard ambulance. The special crew, including a stroke neurologist, are trained in diagnosing and treating strokes. It has a CT scanner right on board to help tell what type of stroke it is, and then they're ready to give TPA, a clot buster drug. We're about 40 minutes faster than bringing the patient to the emergency room with the standard ambulance. 40 minutes is a lot of brain that we're saving and hopefully a lot of disability we're saving the patient. Doctors at New York Presbyterian are joining UCLA Health in Los Angeles and hospitals in a handful of major cities nationwide in a study to prove the value of mobile stroke units. Richard got his TPA just 90 minutes after his symptoms started, well within the three-hour window that the drug works. By noon, I was completely fine. We were actually taking selfies and, and joking around a little bit, you know, with my friends who were there with me. Now, the key here is to recognize the signs of a stroke so that the stroke ambulance can actually be dispatched. Right now, there's only one in New York City, and it's not on duty 24-7. But the hope is that as it proves to save lives and prevent disability, more will be put in service. And Richard, by the way, had a small congenital hole in his heart. That's where the blood clot came from, mm. and that's what caused his stroke. That's been repaired. He's doing fine. He's back in the gym. Thankfully. You bet. Thank well, you, Doctor. To go from that danger, though, to taking selfies, right? I mean, well, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's a happy ending. In a couple of hours. Yeah, I mean, it was really it amazing how fast that worked for him.